folks Nate here at Murray Farm and Ranch We've got a little cattle work to do today we've got some heifers that we weaned and uh, with registered longhorn heifers they have to carry a private herd brand and a private herd number and so and uh, I'm gonna take all these heifers to go get a OCV vaccination and get get them branded so that they will be legal with uh, registration with the uh, TLBAA. We've got, we've got some super flashy heifers that, that are going to be up for sale. I mean, these guys are fancy. They're going to make somebody some happy one of these days. They'll make them a lot of money over the years. And the thing that's so nice about Longhorns is, you know, they sometimes will produce up into their 20s. And, uh, you know, we've, we've had no, no trouble with ours breeding back, calving, milking being good mamas they always just seem to do the do what they're supposed to so we register our animals through the tlbaa which is the texas longhorn breeders association of america in order for an animal to be eligible for registration it must come from registered parents if the calf is from registered parents then there is a form that must be completed along with private herd numbering and herd branding. There is also a fee associated with registration. So this heifer is in the squeeze chute. This is a hydraulic squeeze chute. We've got her tightened down. The veterinarian is going to give her a vaccine and then we're going to put two brands on this heifer. This first brand that you're seeing here is the, the ranch brand. This is the Murray Ranch brand, and it goes on the left hip. This second brand that is being placed on the animal is its private herd number. So the private herd number is required by the TLBAA. They do not require a specific numbering system but they do require that each animal have its own specific number. That number will be placed on the animal's registration certificate. Our numbering system is fairly simple. This heifer is the 11th born, and so she is number 11. This calf is receiving her OCV vaccination, which stands for Official calfhood brucellosis vaccination. This vaccine is required to be given between the months of uh, between the age of four months and 12 months of age. The calf will receive an ear tag which is typically orange uh, and the right ear will be tattooed with a number that dedicates the, the specific animal and the year at which it was vaccinated. This vaccine helps to prevent against brucellosis, which causes a plethora of problems, including abortion, weak calf, retention of fetal membranes, and can cause swollen testicles in males. Prevention of brucellosis is extremely important as there is no treatment for the illness. The brucellosis vaccine has to be given by a veterinarian. In addition to the brucellosis vaccine, our cattle also receive Covexin and VeraShield one month prior to weaning and then a booster at the time of weaning. Whatever vaccination schedule you choose to follow should be discussed with your veterinarian as there may be certain illnesses prevalent in your area that may require additional vaccines. 
All right, so me and Sam, we got these heifers taken care of. They've been out. Sam's a little worried about this trailer shaking. We've been out to the uh, veterinarian when they got branded, they got uh, OCV'd, and we're fixing to let them back out into the pasture. 